I wanted to take a minute and uh, just kind of show some of the progress I've had uh, working with Mach 4 and Modbus. So I built some custom screens and you can see uh, the green DROs underneath um, are rolling really fast. That data is coming through Modbus, uh, which is being generated on this Arduino. Uh, it has the Ethernet 2 um, card on top of it. Uh, and it's just an Uno. It's a genuine Uno. I can, uh, oops, I can show you. Uh, it's a genuine Arduino Uno. Uh, but it has the Ethernet 2 card on top. Um, I made my own custom screens. We're doing kind of a specialized job here. Um, I'm using software from um, the uh, from GitHub from Andre uh, Sarmento. It's the Modbus IP. You can just Google Modbus IP, and this will come up. Um, this is one of his samples called Temp Sensor, but I've modified it. Really what I did is I added four registers. Uh, these are, um, oh gosh, these are holding registers. Uh, and when you set these up, you only set up the number, the final number of the register, and it's base zero. So zero really becomes 40,001, 40,002, 40,003, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then all the other thing I did was uh, set up uh, a series of analog pins for the A to D converters. They're just floating, but I just wanted some data to spit across the Modbus. Uh, and then finally, uh, this is just the standard stuff to get things going. Um, you instantiate an object, the uh, Modbus IP object, object um, and then you connect with uh, Ethernet. I didn't change any of this. Um, I just so happened that my hardware address is 192.168.1. He had the final number of 120, which was fine. This was the default MAC address, but there's a MAC address on the card. I just didn't add it. Um, and then, uh, of course, I actually created the registers and the registers are based, I add those registers based on the constants that I built above, you know, these numbers up here. Uh, and so this is 40,001, 40,002, 40,003, and so on and so forth. Um, we set up a, a, a timer. And then down here, of course, I'm just sending, you know, mb.hreg, I'm sending the value to this register, um, whatever the sensor is reading at that point, the analog converter. And that's it. That's really it. Um, I've, I've documented all of this in the Mach 4 um, forums. Uh, you just look under Arduino, Mach 4, and Modbus IP, or me, T. Gerard. Um, I just kind of stipulated the problem. I included the code um, and uh, the solution as well. And then over here, let me just show you in Mach so you've got a better understanding of some of my troubles. So when I went up to Configure, Plugins... Uh, Modbus, oops, configure. Okay, so when you set this up, um, these are holding registers. Um, that is because mock is base one. In other words, it starts with the number one and not zero. Um, you start with Modbus register one. Modbus register run one is actually a uh, rink up here. Is register is actually zero over here, but I call it one just because I want to keep everything base one. Uh, and then so I just name some things you want. You don't need to put descriptions in. Um, I have some other kind of different things going on here. If you look at my forums postings on the mock forum, you'll see I, I made a, a way so I can read and write directly from the the registers. Um, and so you okay that you so you just create that and then okay this and sure enough it's working like a charm I have it set right now to I think a hundred milliseconds down here yeah a hundred milliseconds so it's a hundred milliseconds it's querying or rather it's pulling at 25 milliseconds the Mach 4 is pulling at 25 milliseconds but um, I'm only sending in 100 millisecond blasts, but still no problems. Everything's going just fine. I haven't had any kind of coughs. I'll show you the diagnostic. Um, and down here, boom, there you can see it. Everything's working just fine. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, 
tag me in the forums. I may not answer here on YouTube, but I just wanted to show that it, it does work and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with mock and uh, especially having this availability because now you can attach whatever you want to the Arduino and you can pass those values to mock. You can uh, attach those values to objects on the screen and manipulate them. So buttons, DROs, sliders, whatever you want, you have a communications channel to go back and forth. I hope it helps. Take care. Bye.